Breaking news right now, the jury in the Chandler Halderson homicide case is minutes from receiving the case and starting their deliberations. We'll have the last arguments made from the defense this morning. Also, roughly one in every four COVID tests is coming back positive and a new study comparing protection from vaccination versus prior infection. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Arcane. Breaking this midday, the jury is about to take up deliberations in the Chandler Halderson trial. It was a quick pivot coming as the defense announced this morning they would not call a single witness. That led us to closing arguments, which just wrapped up in the last 20 minutes. Today, Halderson confirmed that he would not testify in his own defense. They relied on their closing arguments to make their case. In those arguments, the defense admitted that Chandler told a lot of lies and went to extreme lengths to cover them up. However, they say the prosecution can't prove he committed the murders. Meanwhile, the prosecution asked the jury to stick to, use their, to, stick to using their common sense. They were loved by their neighbors. They had close friends. They had jobs. They were normal folks just trying to live a normal life. They don't even get to be buried next to each other. The jury can take as long as they need to deliberate the charges Halderson is facing. When they do reach a verdict, stay right here with News 3 Now. We'll be breaking back into programming to bring you that verdict and have our own expert analysis on their decision. As soon as that happens, you can find it on all of our platforms, on air, online, and on Facebook. And the best way to know when that happens, as soon as it happens, is to download our News 3 Now app or to keep a close eye on our website this afternoon. And while you're there, if you need to get caught up to date, we have a page dedicated to the trial on channel3000.com slash Halderson. There you can watch a live stream of what's happening in court when it's in session and find day-by-day -day breakdowns of what has happened so far. We also have a full timeline of events from the case leading up to the trial. We'll also have a special report on WISC TV when the jury reaches a verdict. We're also keeping a close eye on the weather. We're under an alert day right now for frigid wind chills that are creating dangerous conditions. Austin's over in the, in the weather center with that bundle up out there. Oh man, it was cold outside early this morning, extremely cold, and now we're seeing a little bit of relief, but only a little bit of relief. Thankfully, we do have a lot of sunshine overhead, and that is not going to change. There's really just nothing happening on the Stoppler track and that's going to be the case through today and tomorrow. A lot of sunshine, but that doesn't really equate to a warm afternoon unfortunately. Right now we're at 5 degrees here in Madison but earlier this morning we were below zero. Wind chills were also very low between around 10 and 20 degrees below zero, but we're still looking at around a 5 mile per hour breeze. Not too much stronger than around 7 miles per hour. That's currently the strongest breeze that we have on our map right now. But that's still bringing down the wind chills. It feels like it's right around five degrees below zero. Even at the warmest part of today, we are going to feel like it's below zero. So that's why we have that alert day in the forecast. High temperature of nine. So we're not going to see too many more degrees added on. Wind chills are going to stay around zero or below for the rest of the day. But what about the rest of the forecast? This can't last forever, but do we have any warmth in sight? I'll detail that later on. All right, we'll see you then, Austin. Thank you. All 50 states are reporting high levels of transmission mission as the massive surge of the Omicron variant of the coronavirus continues. Bradley Blackburn reports. In the last month, the number of infected patients at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri has nearly tripled. It's really profound sadness because we have the saddest stories you've ever heard in your life. Some hospitals are swamped as COVID cases continue to surge. The CDC reports that an average of about one in four COVID tests is coming back positive, a huge increase. A new study based on COVID cases in New York and California last summer and fall compared protection from vaccination versus prior infection. The CDC found people who were both vaccinated and had survived COVID had the most protection unvaccinated people with a past infection were a close second. By the fall, when Delta was widespread but boosters weren't, the unvaccinated who had a prior infection had a lower case rate than vaccinated people who never had COVID. But health experts stress it's still much safer to get protection from vaccination than infection. We're just going to need so many more people um, to be protected, mostly through vaccination, because that's what really does protect most of us from getting infected and transmitting it to others, as well as not getting ill. Back in Kansas City, unvaccinated COVID patient Pamela Maples is urging others to get the shot. Take the vaccine. It's very, very important.
Missouri has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the country. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And a Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine for kids under the age of five could be coming soon. Dr. Anthony Fauci says he hopes it'll be available within a month, but it might take a little longer. Fauci says the time frame is up to the Food and Drug Administration. Right now, kids under five are the only group the FDA has not approved a COVID-19 vaccine for. President Biden says he'll continue to push for voting rights, even though the legislation failed in the Senate last night. The bill failed after Democratic Senators Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin refused to sign off on changes to the filibuster rule, which requires 60 votes for legislation to proceed, joining all 50 Republican senators opposed. Frustration over their actions has prompted some progressives to call for Democrats to target the senators in primary elections, but Senate leadership shot down that suggestion. I think that's very short-sighted, and I don't want to engage in that conversation. I'm disappointed in the positions they took, but it was entirely within their right to do it. Uh, in a 50-50 Senate, we value every member. Senators Manchin and Sinema both emphasize that they support the voting rights legislation, but believe more work should be done to make it a bipartisan in order to win the 60 votes needed. The Wisconsin Assembly plans to send Governor Tony Evers a bill that would allow teenagers to work longer hours during the busy summer tourism months. Current law does not allow 14 and 15 year olds to work later than 7 p.m. after Labor Day until May 31st and no later than 9 p.m. over the summer. The bill would allow employees under the age of 16 to work until 11 o'clock when they don't have school the next day. Supporters say the changes will help smaller businesses struggling with the state's worker shortage. Opponents say it rolls back child labor protection laws. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. The labor market hits a rough patch and another major company scraps its vaccine mandate plan for employees. Those stories and more coming up on your CBS Money Watch report. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I am so looking forward to this. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <gasps> Any first item removed, just $89. Warm up with great deals during Steinhoffel's winter sale. Get store-wide savings of 35 to 50% off the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses. Steinhoffel's has something for every style and every budget at the guaranteed lowest prices. So get in, warm up, and save. You'll find great deals throughout the entire store during the winter sale at Steinhoffel's. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. What is all this? We call them options. Options? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbeatable selection without the drama. Two pair plus a free eye exam as low as $59.95. McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo should probably be called McGann Furniture and Flooring because we're the area's oldest and most experienced floor covering store. Our friendly staff will explain the many types of flooring available, answer questions, and make suggestions so you can choose what's best for your home and lifestyle. We always offer free in-home measurements and estimates and use the finest installers in the entire area. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I am so looking forward to this. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <gasps> Any first item removed, just $89.
You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. The number of Americans filing for unemployment benefits surged last week to the highest level since October. According to the Labor Department, first-time filings for weekly jobless claims rose by 55,000 to 286,000. That was more than expected. The spike comes amid an ongoing surge in coronavirus cases. A mixed bag for American Airlines. The air carrier posted its highest revenue of the pandemic, but logged a loss for the quarter. American says it lost $931 million during the fourth quarter. It came as the carrier boosted holiday pay and offered bonuses to other staff to try and keep up with holiday travel demand. No jab required anymore for employees at Starbucks. The Java giant dropped its COVID vaccination mandate just weeks after announcing it. The move comes after last week's ruling by the Supreme Court. The justices rejected a White House plan that required vaccines or regular COVID testing at companies with more than 100 workers. And check your paychecks because raises are coming in 2022. According to a new survey by Willis Towers Watson, employers are expected to boost employee pay by 3.4% on average this year as faster wage growth than the previous two years it comes as employers compete for talent in a tight labor market and that's your cbs money watch report for more head to cbsmoneywatch.com at the cbs broadcast center i'm diane king hall Diane, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is bouncing back up 367 points. The Nasdaq up 250. The S&P 500 up 53. Well, Ford is recalling nearly 200,000 vehicles due to an issue that could cause vehicles to roll away. The automaker says high temperatures and high humidity can cause the brake pedal bumper to separate from the brake pedal. The recall affects 2014 and 2015 Ford Fusions, 2015 Ford Mustangs, and 2014 and 2015 Lincoln MKZs. Ford says impacted customers can take their cars to dealers to replace the brake pedal and clutch pedal bumpers free of charge. Well, up next, a beautiful discovery deep off the coast of Tahiti. Plus, Pam Yaki has your latest egg numbers and a weather alert day brings chilling temperatures. Austin joins us for your full forecast coming up. Furniture and Appliance Mart's multi-million dollar clearance event is on now. Save up to half off appliance clearance items while they last. Plus, no interest financing for 12 months on all appliances with no minimum purchase. At Furniture and Appliance Mart, inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. Transform your home with Menard's huge selection of lighting. From modern to rustic, you're sure to find your style with over 7,000 lights. The elegant Josca collection is available in two finishes. The Josca 3 Light Island Light is $98.99 on sale. Or add a rustic look to your bathroom with the B3 Light Vanity Light. The galvanized and whitewashed finish is the perfect combination. Grab one for $114.99 at Menard's. Save big money at Menard's. The Washington Swamp. Ron Johnson's up to his neck in it. It's no surprise Johnson broke his promise to only serve two Senate terms as his net worth doubled in office. Johnson pushed for a new tax loophole for the wealthiest Americans, personally benefited from the tax break, and two of his biggest donors pocketed millions. Ron Johnson's deep in the swamp. Out for himself, not us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Memories matter. This bend on Cox Hollow Lake was one of Dad's favorite fishing holes. Crest Funeral and Cremation Service helped us make sure he's never forgotten. Making it personal. It's how you heal. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. It's here, Wisconsin. Ashley Home Store's Mega Clearance Event is on now. Millions of dollars worth of in-stock clearance. Floor sample and special purchase furniture and mattresses must be sold. This is your chance to save as much as 85% off while it lasts. Plus, no interest financing for three years store-wide. Only at Ashley Home Store. Exploring Madison's frozen lakes and lagoons can be great family fun, as long as you play it safe. Our Time for Kids experts have some advice before you go. And temperatures are going to stay much colder than average throughout the forecast. We'll have all the latest tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7. 
Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra's Masterwork Series returns to Capitol Theater January 28th with Beethoven's The Triple and William Banfield's Symphony, Here I Stand, inspired by the life of Paul Robeson. Tickets at Overture.org. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report on this chilly Thursday. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm glad I'm inside today. I mean, it was one thing to be at the Dairy Strong Conference yesterday, but I wouldn't want to have to be running anywhere today. Uh, I do sympathize with my farmers and the fact that they are very dedicated to taking care of their animals no, gar no matter the weather. So let's talk a little bit about Dairy Strong, which is continuing through about the lunch hour at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. Yesterday, they had better than 300 farmers and agribusiness folks that were gathered together. Last evening was a time for kind of reflections and special presentations. Dairy Business Association Association's Advocate of the Year Award was presented last night to the family of Jerry Meisner from Chile, Wisconsin, in Clark County. A uh, dairy farmer who passed away, unfortunately, about a month ago. He's a past president of the organization and just an all-around super swell guy. He passed away due, due to an illness, but the organization had made him aware that he was the recipient of the, war, the award. Last night, his uh, family received it posthumously for Jerry. So Jerry Meister named Dairy Business Association's Advocate of the Year. Also, three board members re-elected. Steve Bodart from Compure Financial, Kevin Collins, dairy farmer from Greenleaf, and Bob Nagel, a partner and manager from Wholesome Dairies up by Hilbert, all back on the board for Dairy Business Association. Brody Staple will stay on the Edge Dairy Cooperative Board as their president. He is a dairy farmer from Double Dutch Dairy. So let's keep it dairy then today. It's uh, been the place to watch. Now, I want to remind you, on Monday, we'll get our latest milk production figures for the month of January. That'll be milk for the 23 major dairy-producing states and also cold storage reports. Keep an eye on how much cheese and butter we've got in cold storage and what kind of milk production we saw in December. Today, barrel cheese was down 8 and 3 quarters cents at 181 and 3 quarters. 40-pound black cheese was unchanged at 184 and a half. Double-A butter again today, Mark, up a penny and 3 quarters. We're at 290 a pound for butter in Chicago today. And believe it or not, we are still at a discount compared to butter prices for the European Union. So we may get some action come out <laughs> Monday. I'll have something to talk about, that's for sure. And that in the Packer game. and the... That's right. So it's going to be a big weekend. Well, you're going to be here tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah. All oh, right, yeah. We'll I'm just then. jumping a gun to the report. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll see you tomorrow, Pam. Thank you. Well, scientists have made a beautiful discovery off the coast of Tahiti, a pristine coral reef. Ian Lee shows us what makes it so unique. Diving beneath the deep blue reveals a sea of color, a magical mountain of coral stretching for almost two miles, hidden until now. It's basically a field of huge flowers, coral garden in a way. Some of them looks like roses. Some of those rose-shaped corals off the coast of Tahiti span six feet. But this reef isn't like others around the world. For one, it's a lot deeper, between 100 to 200 feet below the waves. It's quite impressive to find such system in, in a very good state of, uh, of health uh, at that sort of depth. And while most coral is damaged by overfishing, pollution and climate change, remarkably scientists say this floral forest seems untouched. You're not looking at a reef that's recovered just in a few years. I, I think it has managed to dodge the bullet. Ocean experts now want to learn the secrets of the coral's resilience. That gives us hope that there might be over ecosystems that we have not found in the ocean, uh, particularly this type of uh, coral reef at this kind of depth. And with so much of the world's waters waiting to be explored, who knows what else divers could discover in the deep? Ian Lee, CBS News. That is pretty exciting news. Well, a weather alert day in the forecast. Here's Austin with the details. Yeah, that is really awesome news as well. But outside, we have a beautiful looking day, and it doesn't really feel like it. It's just oh so cold outside. And a few things of note, bitterly cold temperatures all the way through Friday morning. Towards Friday afternoon, a little bit of some recovery as we're going to see some mid-teens returning to the forecast. But we are looking at some more cool downs a little bit later on. Even a few snow chances for the weekend here. Some lighter snow showers possible Saturday. Maybe some flurry action on Sunday morning. And then Monday, I do still think Monday is going to be that best chance to actually pick up a little bit of lighter accumulation. Current Doppler track, nothing happening on this. Lots of sunshine today. Lots of sunshine expected for 
tomorrow, so that Doppler track is going to stay bare for quite some time. But our low temperatures this morning, this is where we started early this morning. Two below here in Madison, one below in Monroe, nine below in Viroqua, and right above my head behind me here, Black River Falls, 16 degrees below zero. It was quite cold out there early this morning. Look at the recovery we made, though. We tacked on about seven degrees. We're up to five here in Madison. We're pretty much only going to see those upper single digits and low teens, so we're not going to get too excited for heat today. Janesville already breaking into those double digits. That's the warmest spot that we actually have currently right now. Wind speeds, not strong, but enough to bring down those wind chills, and this is exactly what we were expecting. By the time we reach the late portion of tonight and tomorrow, these winds actually are going to drop off, which will help us out a little bit, and I'll detail why in just a second, but take a look at what it feels like outside right now. It still feels like it's below zero. It still feels like it's uh, below zero all day long as well. So we're really not going to see this changing at the warmest part of today. We'll be a little bit closer to zero, but that's just about it. Now the future track is going to show what we're going to see with these temperatures. Afternoon temperatures in those upper single digits and low teens. Then by the time we reach the coldest part of the night tonight, look at this seven below is expected. So it's really going to cool down, but the wind chills also won't be as bad. You take a look here at this afternoon, still below zero tomorrow morning actually very close to the current temperatures that are expected at that moment tomorrow. And that's just because we're not going to see those winds sticking around. So the wind chills will pretty much be matching our actual temperatures, thankfully. But we also have gotten rid of these wind chill advisories. They expired just a few moments ago here for a lot of us. So we're looking pretty good in terms of wind chill advisories, but where it's still very cold outside. We need to keep that in mind. This alert day is in effect for the rest of today and even for tonight. That low temperature tonight, seven degrees below zero. Wind chills tonight likely going to be around uh, 10 to 15 below at its worst. A lot of the times it's just going to be hugging that actual temperature. And then your extended forecast still shows quite a bit of some sunshine for both Thursday and Friday. Come Saturday, Sunday, we're going to see a little bit more cloud cover, some AM snow showers possible on Saturday morning. And then Monday, I do think it's our best chance to see some lighter accumulation, but with the nature of that system being a clipper, it doesn't really pack too hard of a punch, especially with how low the these temperatures will go, but we're still expecting some snowfall that could still lead to some issues on some roadways. So we're going to keep a close eye out there for Monday. Seven below tonight? Seven below tonight, but uh, it won't feel as cold as what it was this morning. Kind of well, goofy how that works. There's that. Yeah. All right, Austin, thank you. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. I'm next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Pork chops, so good. I have a feeling you'll be licking your plate clean. And the best part, it takes less than 15 minutes to make from start to finish. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Guys, do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound, your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. How much money have you wasted trying to find the right shade of foundation to match your skin tone? You end up with so many unused bottles, yet you can't bear to throw them out. Now, there's Color of Beauty self-adjusting foundation, which means you'll never search for the perfect shade again. It's really difficult for me to find a good tone foundation. I usually purchase about three or four and sometimes mix them. Color Beauty is a game changer in finding the right foundation. You put it on your skin and it transforms into your your own skin tone. The Color Beauty Foundation is so simple to put on. My skin looks great and it just looks awesome. The key to the innovative Color Beauty formula is tiny color beads that release and blend to perfectly match your skin tone as you apply it. The foundation is white when it comes out of the bottle, but when I begin to apply it, it adjusts to blend perfectly with the color of my skin. My biggest problem area is my cheeks right here. Color Beauty feels really light on my skin and I can 
tell that it is pretty full coverage so it looks like I don't have too much foundation on but it is covering all my acne scars like I was saying before. I actually really love it. It's weightless and it's full coverage and also it literally just matches my skin as soon as I put it on. It's no work. I've never experienced a foundation like this. Color Beauty only comes in two colors, light and medium. If you have fair skin or you burn easily, go with the light. If you have darker skin, go with the medium. Plus, with an SPF of 50, they're getting the highest level of sun protection in a lightweight formula. And best of all is Color Beauty's exclusive special. Order this New Year's and get 40% off. That means you'll get the color adjusting foundation, the skin smoothing primer, and the fan favorite lash enhancer for thicker, longer looking lashes at 40% off. Plus, get free shipping. Visit color40.com or call the number on your screen. When it comes to getting dinner on the table night after night, it gets pretty challenging to come up with new fresh ideas. Well, no worries, because I have a quick throw-together one-pan wonder that'll do just that. We start by sprinkling a few thick-cut pork chops with lemon pepper seasoning. These get sautéed in a heavy skillet until they're nicely browned on both sides, which takes just minutes. Once they're cooked just the way you like them, take them out and add some balsamic vinegar, chicken broth, and a bit of brown sugar right to the skillet. Let it simmer until it starts to reduce slightly and thicken up. Then come dinner time, spoon the sweet and tangy glaze over the chops and call the troops to the table. And since it was all cooked in one pan, cleanup is a breeze. To get the recipe for our juicy and flavorful balsamic pork chops, all you need to do is visit our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a fun change of pace way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, Howard, thank you. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. This is Nala. She's a five-year-old Australian cattle dog mix. Nala's a smart, spirited, and attentive girl who likes to snuggle. She's looking for an active family to take her on lots of walks and adventures. She can get a bit nervous when there are loud noises, so she would do best in a home with no small children. Nala's been at the Dane County Humane Society for a while now, so she's part of the Lonely Hearts Club. That means her adoption fee has been Reduce. She's a pretty girl. This week, the Dane County Humane Society's thrift store is celebrating its third anniversary. Anyone who shops there now through January 23rd will earn triple stamps on their Rover's Rewards card. The store is located on Watts Road in Madison, right across from Woodman's West. All proceeds benefit animals in need at the Dane County Humane Society. And last week's pets, Guinea Pig Trio, Zippy, Darlene, and Lilith have been adopted. That's great news. If you're interested in adopting Nala or checking out all the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to GiveShelter.org. And Austin has one final check of the forecast. Oh, and I wish I had better news in terms of temperatures, but it is oh so cold, and it's going to stay that way here for some time. Most of this forecast is below average in terms of our overall temperatures. A little bit milder by tomorrow afternoon, but Saturday looks to be one of our warmer days there with some AM snow showers. Best chance of light accumulation looks to be as of right now on Monday. All right, Austin, thank you. Don't forget to stick with Channel 3000 as we await the verdict in the Chandler Halderson trial. We'll be breaking back into programming to bring you that verdict and have our own expert analysis on their decision as soon as that happens. You can find it on all platforms, on air, on channel3000.com, and on our social media pages. That's coming up this afternoon. We'll see you then and again at 4 o'clock for Live at 4. Have a great afternoon.